All right, so we are on part three of setting your vision and goals for 2022. The first two videos we covered setting that intention and writing it out on paper and finding out what your why is. You can go back to that video and review it to get more information. On the second video, we talked about planning and on today's video, we are gonna talk about behaviors. So when you think about behaviors, a lot of times people will set forth, right? To reach a particular goal, um, we'll stick with what I've been rolling with. Let's say this person has set a health goal and they want to look better in their swimsuit, right? So they might have pursued this goal before and maybe they fell off track. So what happens is we as people, we develop habits and behaviors throughout our life that we just, we hang on to and we carry them with us wherever we go. It's who we are. But when we set forth on, you know, changing a part of our lives, we need to change these behaviors and change these habits so we can successfully reach these goals. So looking at what are this, these this person in general, what is what is their behaviors currently? If their behaviors are maybe that they are, you know, eating fast food three days a week, let's say, and it's because they don't have time to meal prep and they're choosing, you know, to just wing things and eat healthy some days and eat fast food on the days that they don't have time. These are all the behaviors that you're gonna to wanna to list out. So list out your current behaviors and notice them. Will those behaviors that you currently have, will they get you to your goal? Are they in alignment with you reaching that particular goal for yourself? So if someone has a behavior of winging it and eating fast food when they're on the run, that is not going to help them reach their goal faster than if they were going to plan it out, right? So planning it out, taking the time to do the meal prepping and making sure they're good to go, just actually having things ready and in their calendar for themselves so nothing falls off track. Are there other behaviors where maybe you get in this mode and you're like, I just don't, feel like meal prepping today. I just don't feel like it. Well, I want to share with you, if we roll through life based off doing things based off of how we feel, we're never going to reach our goals. Because there's going to be days where we're like, I just, you know, if I was like, hey, I just don't feel like doing my video today, then how do I create consistency if I, you know, if I'm going to go through life and do these things based off of how I'm feeling. I'm not going to reach my goals. I'm not going to get my business out there and this coaching practice based off of how I feel because there's days I don't feel like going on social media. I just don't want to be on there, but I have to reconnect back to my why and realize, you know, there's this, this huge purpose that I'm trying to serve. So know that you're not always going to feel up to doing what you want to do you know you might not feel like going to the gym you might not feel like going grocery shopping so you can do your meal prepping but we still have to do it so can you show up for yourself and commit you know make the decision to commit to shifting this behavior of moving through life based off of how you're feeling and will you show up for yourself so in today's video here i just really want you to write down what are my current behaviors? And asking yourself, are they in alignment with this goal of mine? If not, write out what you would need to shift. So what behaviors need to shift? What is not going to get you to that goal? What could you do instead? That is where I will leave you at today. If you have any questions on this, feel free to leave a comment below. If there's certain areas where you're getting hung up in life that you know, you know, they're the barriers that keep repeating themselves and why you're not always reaching your goals, either in your health or your relationships or your finances, leave a comment and let me know where you're struggling. Um, 
And if you like today's video, please give me a like, subscribe to my page. And if you are looking for additional support um, with working with me one-on-one, -on -one, I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. So feel free to click on the link in my intro section where it says to schedule a free discovery call and we can chat about your goals for 2022 and find out if coaching would be the right next step for you. Have a great day today.